all right what's up y'all it's 202 wink and y'all know one of the main things on my channel i'm trying to teach everybody how to get some money get some uh high price things for the low and also you know protect yourself at the legal way you know what i'm saying with that being said let's get into it because i had somebody comment on one of my uh videos talking about uh when i was talking about getting your uh your hql in merlin in dc i think even in virginia too which whatever it was he commented under that video and was like uh Oh, you can't even get a multi-jurisdiction in D.C., Maryland, Virginia. When people, I cannot stand when people talk about things that they do not know about. Like, you probably don't even have your HQL, and you're trying to tell somebody what is and ain't with the CCW, concealed carry weapon. So, yeah, with that being said, I hope this uh, plane ain't going to bother y'all. But with that being said, you can get a multi-jurisdiction concealed a multi-jurisdiction concealed curry weapon for dc maryland and virginia they don't just group us all together for no reason you know when it comes to certain things like dc maryland and virginia and they have classes for it now i'm not saying don't go take nobody else uh concealed curry class or whatever but the prices i be hearing do not be making sense compared to the price and the prices that i've paid to get them done at an actual class class with that being said, y'all know I got the papers. You always got to show the paperwork. You can't beat paperwork. So, what does that say? Multi-jurisdiction, Merlin, D.C., V.A., concealed carry permit class. Okay. I'm going to read y'all some stuff so y'all can know, prove some points, this and that. Boom. So, one, it's a 16-hour class. This is a 16-hour multi-jurisdiction Merlin, D.C., and Virginia approved firearm safety training class that um, satisfies the training requirements to apply for the Merlin Concealed Wear and Carry Permit. All right, boom. The D.C. Concealed Carry Permit, the Virginia Concealed Carry Permit, and the Merlin Concealed Permit. Okay, so it just like went into super detail. Okay, boom. As a bonus, this class also satisfies the training requirements applied to the Merlin Handgun Qualification License. This class is for residents and non-residents who wish to apply. So, boom, I just taught myself something because, like it just said, <laughs> it also satisfies the training requirements for the HQL. So, I really could have just took this and then not had to take my HQL, but this is how they get you. Because even with my HQL, you still got to pay for, like, fingerprints, uh, background check, all that stuff, too. But, um, yeah, it's all good. Either way, I got, I like the, I got both now, okay? Or I'll have both, whatever you want to call it. So now, this class, like I said, is 16 hours, two eight-hour days. I looked up the classes. They got them on Saturdays and Sundays, so I don't got to worry about work. And, yeah, the class is $300. Now, uh, <clears throat> of course, you're going to need your ID. If you got any, like, uh, crimes against people and uh, felonies, you could just forget about this whole thing for real, for real. But yeah, like, and they do all the training. The point is, I also had uh, one of my mans kept saying, get the Utah joint or, or whatever the other joint is that have different states. It's no reason to get the Utah concealed curry just because it has like 32 other states, especially if you're not in those 32 other states. The only joint that, uh, that it was doing something for really was Virginia because it did not recognize the Merlin concealed, uh, concealed curry joint and it didn't even have DC on there. So, that's out the window, y'all. Make sure y'all do y'all own research and all that. Because, yeah, and also, there's no refunds with it either, for real, for real. And, uh, and yeah, like I said, 16-hour class, uh, you don't got to be a resident, you know what I'm saying? You got to have your, your driver's license or ID, and you got to arrive on time and be present for the entire uh, class. You know, and then you get some range time or whatever, whatever, so they can see you, like, shoot the gun or whatever. But, yeah, for the most part, y'all, you can get your DMV, might as well call that your DMV concealed carry, you know what I'm saying, for D.C., Merlin, and Virginia. So you could be able to, because that's where I'm at the most, D.C. and Merlin. And then, I, like y'all see, I just started going to Virginia. So, yeah, you just want to be safe and have the right things and do the right things. So, like I said, you could either skip the uh, HQL for the house jump and just have your CCW. Somebody got a little mini something. Or you can uh, still get both. I, I recommend getting both because 
Still curry. I just want to make sure I got both because it, it covers everything. You don't even have to double ask or nothing. But yeah, y'all, that's the end of this video, man. Get y'all legal firearms. You don't got to do it illegally. If you don't, if you got your rights taken away after you went to jail or something, they have places and people that fix that for you. If you got some charges, try to see if you can get them jumps expunged, man. Like, comment, subscribe, share. 202 Wins Productions. I'm gone.